Hey everyone, this is Ashley with CT and Arena Digitals. I'm going to be doing another um, newborn digital backdrop tutorial today um, using a white um, backdrop and white fur rather than a dark one. Um, so this is my initial image. I already um, selected and copied baby um, just to save some time during the um, tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and copy her and paste resize that looks good okay so as always um, you want to make sure the light is falling on the baby the same as it's falling on the digital which is coming from over here and so is the light on her so we're good there um, I want to get her cleaned up a little bit first um, around the edges, which I, I kind of already did that um, too. So I think I'm just going to add a bit of blur in places um, that are a little harsh. Again, it's always best to photograph baby on the same type of layer that you're going to be working with in your digital. It makes it so much easier. <clears throat> okay, so first um, I want to make her a little bit brighter because um, this digital was quite dark in tones and this is um, pretty bright normally. I would use, I would photograph the baby on a really bright background, but that's not really my edit editing style. Um, so I'm just going to use this one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up the exposure. Go ahead and click right here so it goes just on baby and not the background also. Just a tiny bit, and then I'm actually going to use a curves layer. Um, so and then I'm going to take the baby into camera raw and I'm going to bring up the shadows there we go she matches a bit better now um, create a layer mask on the baby I'm actually going to brush off some of this Get rid of some of the shadow there. Okay. Brush some of that back on because it took off a little bit more than I wanted to. Okay. So now um, I'm going to merge these layers. I'm going to <clears throat> go down and Create a drop shadow. Okay, so obviously the last one I used was green, and we definitely don't want that. Um, first, change the direction of the light, which it's pretty good right here. As you can see, if you clicked over there, that would be if the light was coming from the left side, but we're good because it is coming from the right. Um, and that angle looks pretty good okay now the color you want to make sure it's on multiply um, I'm gonna sample around here I want you want it to be similar to your layer we don't need a lot of shadow because the shadows are very soft in this image 
I'm going to go ahead and go with that and I'm going to lower the opacity a bit. See that added shadow um, around her. And I want to add a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Press Alt, click in between, so it just is just on baby. 10% opacity. Um, and I want to paint in a little bit more shadow rate um, over here. Oh, I'm sorry, I did that wrong, guys. I want this above the background, not above baby. a little better. I want some on the flower too, which I'm going to change color for that. Change the blending mode to multiply. Okay. It actually looks, I think that looks good. Okay. I'm going to make parts of her face a bit brighter. And her outfit. Okay. And now to make it look even uh, more a little better um, to match. I'm gonna change the color of her outfit, but also add. I'm gonna add blur. Forgot to do this to the background because straight out of camera, this would be this would be blurred around her. Create depth. Okay, um, so I'm going to flatten that and I'm going to run my color change action, um, which can be found in my shop as well. Um, if I can find it, there we go. I'm going to invert that and I am going to change the color to pink. Paint that on. smaller. Go. Okay. I'm going to lower the opacity just a little. That's cute. It's pretty. And I'm going to make the outfit a little bit darker. Okay. Lower the yellows just a little bit. And I think that's good. Before and after. Before, 